This video tutorial shows you how to perform an optimization using ANSYS AIM and Space Claim, then perform a fatigue life analysis using AIM. Now with our baseline simulation complete, let's make some adjustments to the cat. Let's add a slot to the jib to see if we can reduce some weight. Now let's make the slot length a parameter. Click on the face and hit M. Holding ALT, click on the opposite face. This makes a dimension between the two faces. Call this parameter slot length. Now let's extend the width of the gusset. Create a box that starts at the bottom left. This highlights just the edges. Use the move function, hit the ALT key, and select the back face. This will create a dimension, call it the gusset width. Do the same for the bottom edge and call it the gusset height. With the CAD updated, let's go back and change the FEA geometry. Under Sources, Synchronize. In the Geometry Preferences, delete the Dimensions key and you'll find that the gusset width, height and the slot length are available. Parameterize them. Right click on the results and update. This will automatically update the mesh and physics. Let's go back and check the results. So we can see the displacement magnitude, which is still of a similar value, and the stress on the jib. And we can check the mass as well. Now let's go through and optimize the design. Highlight the response surface optimization and drag it into the workshop. Right click and edit the design points. Let's change the lower and upper bounds of the gusset and the slot. Let's make the width 2000, height 850 and slot to 2000. Right click on the design of experiments and preview. The software will automatically create the points necessary to create the design of experiments. Then update. Let's update the response surface. Under the response cell in 3D, we can see the response surface that's created. We can see straight away how the two input variables, gusset height and width, affect the max displacement. We can change it to see how it affects the stress. What we can also do is using the slider we can change the slot length and understand how it affects the response surface. Now let's go back to our workbench. Let's optimize the design. Under objectives and constraints let's input our goals. Now for the calculated value which is our mass let's minimize that. Let's select our displacement magnitude We'd like to minimize this with an upper bound of 25 mil. Now let's select our maximum stress. Again, we'd like to minimize that with an upper bound of 150 megapascals. Let's right click and update. The system will find points depending on the response surface we previously created. Let's look at the candidate points. We can see straight away that we've aimed to minimize the mass keep the displacement under 25 mil and keep the stress under 150 with the parameters seen above. We can right click and import as design point. Let's go into the parameter set. We can see straight away that our candidate point has been imported. Let's change the dimensions to make it easy to manufacture. Let's change the width to 1000, height to 620, and let's keep the slot at 100. Let's retain the information so we can preview it. Now update all design points. Let's look at the results. Let's go into study and highlight design point two. We can see the CAD update. Now let's check the results. We can go back and check our contours. We can see that the maximum stress has changed and so has the distribution. Displacement magnitude. and the calculated value, which was our mass.
With our initial contours reviewed, let's evaluate the fatigue life. Before that, let's have a look at the material properties. Under material assignment, we can see that there is an SN curve that has been created for us. Let's go back to results. Now let's evaluate the fatigue life. Let's go add fatigue life. Let's select the jib body under variable fatigue safety factor. Stress life, the SN curve has already been given. The load type is zero and just input the design life which is 250,000 and evaluate. With the results evaluated you can see the contours. We have a minimum value of 1.5 with a maximum of 15. The minimum value shows us that we have a safety factor of 1.5 that the component we have designed will last the 250 cycles which is within the 25 year warranty period. I hope this video helped you understand how to optimize a structure using ANSYS AIM and Space Claim, and then perform a fatigue life analysis using AIM. The next video will focus on using 3D markup.